you're looking at a nine day old installation and the coating on this HDPE pipe has already peeled off. How did that happen? The manufacturer of this HDPE pipe claims a 50 year design life. Folks, does this look like a 50 year design life to you? Let me tell you, there is a better way to do HDPE pipe, and it's called Odin Boom, and it's only by Worthington Products. Stick around, we're going to show you the difference. Hi, I'm Paul Meeks, and I'm very pleased to be able to show you what the difference is between an Odin Boom HDPE pipe boom and a conventional HDPE barrier. And I'm gonna use some examples, some samples to demonstrate the differences in this short video clip. Here we have a typical HDPE pipe boom. And as you can see, it's black, it's made with carbon black, and that's very good. And it's a thick walled material. Typically, it's gonna be anywhere from 25 millimeters to 32 millimeters thick. And as you can see, it's a homogenous material all the way through, all black. The problem is, it's all black. For public safety, for logging debris booms, and especially up in Canada, we need to have an external coating. These need to be visible in yellow. So in order to get a coating on this material, we have to apply a post-production method of, of putting a coating on. Now, there are two ways to do that. One, you can paint the booms, and it's a very tedious process. But as you can see, even in this example, the paint has very low adhesion to the HDPE material, and it easily peels, bubbles, or delaminates. Typically, you're gonna find this painted layer will peel off within the first 12 to 18 months. It might not peel off over the entire boom, but a significant portion will experience that. Now there's an advanced way of putting a coating on these booms, it's called flame resin coating. And that applies anywhere from a one to three millimeter thick layer. However, even that layer is designed only to last for 10 years in a log boom environment. So what does that mean? It means if you get your typical HDPE pipe boom, you're gonna to have to remove these from service anywhere from every 18 months to as long as every 10 years. Imagine pulling your boom out every 10 years and having to entirely strip it clean and recoat it if you want it to maintain that yellow. However, there is a different way to do it. There's a better way and that's what the Odin boom is. The Odin boom is an HDPE barrier. However, we manufacture Odin boom using what's called co-extrusion. So what is co-extrusion? It means as we produce this material, it comes out of a dual production process. Process number one extrudes the HDPE pipe material, and as soon as that comes out of the mold, we then go into process number two, which applies a second HDPE, same material, layer onto the original pipe. So this layer, as you can see, is very high quality. It's four millimeters thick. It can never peel, delaminate, or separate from the backing of the boom. So what does that mean for you, the client? Well, if you have an Odin boom, you're gonna retain your color, you're gonna retain your layer for the life of the boom. And typically these shells are gonna last up to 50 years, sometimes even longer. Whereas with your conventional HDPE black pipe or your conventional uh, painted pipe, you're gonna to have to remove those from service on uh, in regular intervals to have to recode it. So that explains a quick differences between the Elden Boom HDPE pipe and a standard conventional HDPE pipe boom that many of you have seen out in the market. We hope you've enjoyed this video, that it was informative. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me via email, pmeeks at toughboom.com. Thank you.